The meaning of plants, chives. In some cultures, chives are a symbol that means protection from evil spirits, protection of the home, long life, protection and weight loss. This plant is considered by some to have energy giving properties. Maybe this is why General Ulysses Grant sent a message from the battlefield during the American Civil War that said, I will not move my troops until the chives arrive. It is thought that chives have been used in China for about 5,000 years and that there are ancient Egyptian monuments with what looked like chives engraved or carved onto them and that it was the Romans who introduced this plant to Britain. In Germany, chives are called Schnittlauch, which means cuttable leek. In Korean folklore, chives play a part in the story of Yeonae, the fox sister. The story tells of a married couple who had lots of sons but no daughters. They prayed to the mountain god Sansin and were given a daughter, but all was not well as the family's cattle started to die. One cow died every night. The parents asked their sons to find out why this was happening. And that night, the oldest son saw his sister put her hand into the cow's anus, pull out the liver and eat it, killing the cow. He was shocked by what he saw and couldn't tell his parents, listen, I'm shocked just reading it, believe me. Each son that saw this happen at night couldn't summon the courage to tell their parents until the youngest son saw it and told his dad what his sister had been seen doing. Unfortunately, his dad thought he was lying to get his sister in trouble and banished him from the village. So he left home and eventually married and started a new life. Years later, curiosity got the better of the younger son and he returned to his family home to find out what had happened to his family. Just before he set off on the journey, his new wife was very worried and gave him a strong horse to take in there and three bottles to be used in the event of an emergency. On arriving at what used to be his family home, he found the home in a terrible state and the only living thing that was there was his sister. She had eaten all the cows and all of his family. Oh my, I hope she didn't put her hand up Oh, doesn't bear thinking about. His sister was there. She smiled at him and asked if he would like anything to eat. Slightly panicking and trying to buy time to escape, he told her that he wanted some chives in a pancake. So off she went out into the fields to gather chives. Thinking that there might be something funny going on, his sister had tied him up before she went out to collect the chives but while she was away, he managed to untie the knots and ran off. She came back with a handful of chives, just in time to see her brother running away. Now remember the name of the story, Fox Sister. She ran after him, changing shape between human and fox. The brother was scared that he was going to be caught, so he threw one of the bottles his wife had given him at the fox chasing him. This bottle was the blue bottle, which made a river appear. But the fox, or his sister, was able to swim across the river and carry on chasing him. He threw the next bottle, which made a thorny bush appear. But the fox just ran through it, prickling its skin, but carried on. In desperation, he threw the final bottle, which was red. A fireball exploded and it burned the fox and killed her. I suppose the moral of that story is that if you're ever in a life or death situation and somebody asks you what you'd like to eat, always ask for a chive pancake.